Hello everybody and welcome to your reading. We are going to look at who is coming towards you in a romantic way within like the next 30 to 60 days. Who is coming towards you and what it is that they are bringing and offering to you. There are three different pictures to choose from to bring forth your messages. Decide which one is calling to you. I will start with the first picture. There are timestamps listed for all of them below. Hello, picture number one. So let's tap right in to this person's energy and see who they are and what they want to say to you, offer to you, bring to you, how they're feeling, what they're thinking. All right. Um, so for you guys, this person feels very earthly to me, um, like a Capricorn almost, and saying that they don't necessarily have to be a Capricorn, but this is somebody who's very driven, very ambitious, very focused on career and like leaving a legacy, like they want to have a lot of success this life journey. And, um, you know, it, cause I'm feeling like this earthly energy. So it's like, um, this person might uh, like make cakes or pastries, work in um, some sort of like food industry. The the sweets is, is really jumping out at me, like cakes and pastries, like these really fancy pastries. Um, so there's like something associated around like food, food industry, food creation um, attached to this person. They could be a really good cook, okay? They could make really amazing sweets. I mean, it could just be a hobby of theirs. Um, but yeah, they they just feel very ambitious and a strong, strong connection to like food, pastries, sweets, things like that. Um, this person has very, uh, mysterious eyes, like, um, you, you know, they say the eyes are the window to the soul, right? You can't read this person through their eyes, okay? Their, their eyes are very mysterious. It's like, um, they have dark eyes, regardless of the color they are. They're, they're dark, they're mysterious. Um, there's something about this person that is very attractive, like, um, everybody would compliment this person, like, um, whether they have a really pretty smile or great hair, um, pretty eyes. It's just like when you <clears throat> meet this person, you're going to notice this very attractive asset about them. And it's like they get complimented on that a lot. Um, what else? This person has some trust issues. Okay, and that goes back to the, the guarding with the eyes, like you, you can't see. Yeah, they have a bit of um, a wall around them. They have some trust issues. Okay, and this could be from things they've been through in the past, but um, you, you've always got to realize with this person that there's so much more beneath the surface. All right, this person has to be very, very close to you in order to become vulnerable and open and fully exposed and share themselves. All right. Yeah, look at that doubt and indecision. So this person really wants to let you know what they're feeling inside. But these trust issues, um, doubt and indecision, like they've been through something, okay? They've absolutely been through something and it makes them weary of romantic connection, emotional bonding. Like they never want to be hurt like that again. They never want to go through that energy again, okay? So when they look at you, they're very interested because remember, this is who's coming towards you. But there's a lot of insecurity within them, which, again, may make you feel like they're not as interested or things like that. And it's not that. It's just they have a very hard time opening up. All right. These two just jumped. So what do we have? 
Aries, independence, bravery, and passion, and conjunction, a union, merging, and coming together. All right, so these two cards, the Aries energy with the conjunction, this person is going to get enough courage, bravery, whatever, through this Aries energy to approach you, to speak to you, to talk to you about, I want to take you out, or I want to offer you a commitment. I want to be with you. You know, this person could be somebody you have yet to meet that's going to show up in the next 30 days. This could be somebody you already know that's just kind of, you know, on the sidelines or just not coming in strong, but they are, all right? This is where they're going to get the courage through that Aryan energy and they're going to make their move towards you. They want to be with you. They want to explore you. But I don't think you would feel that way upon first glance of just how they act, okay? And it's because this person hides a lot. And um, if you are somebody who's very intuitive, you may find that um, at times you, you think this person really likes you, like you, you feel that vibe, but then their actions or their words just don't align and you're like, wait, what? And it's just because this person, um, the moment they start getting vulnerable, it's like they really put their guard right back up because they've been very burned in the past. And uh, it was hard for them. This has been not an easy journey and romance for them of their past. But there's just something about you. So let's pull some tarot and go deeper into this story of what they want to offer, what they want to say. It's like this person puts themselves out there for romance and then pulls back and is like, okay, I'll just focus on my career, on my ambition. Like they teeter back and forth. Like that their ambition, their career, their drive is like their safety net, their safe haven, what they can always run to, um, hide themselves in when they're getting um, overwhelmed emotionally. Okay, so look at this. We've got the fool. Yeah, they 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 want to take the plunge with you, okay? The fool is associated with Aries sometimes and, and you got that connection right there. Five of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. The world. Look at that. Look at that. The world right next to the fool. To a pinnacle. See, I knew it. This person, look at how look at how well these tarot cards are just already reflecting what we've picked up on about this person. Now we have the Knight of Cups, the Empress, and the Moon. Yes, yeah, see. Mm. Okay. This person has definitely been through some things in their past. Okay. In fact, if it is not, okay, Spirit just showed me this. If it is not them who has really just gone through a, a horrible, messy breakup, super uh, betrayal, then you have. And that's what this person's hesitancy is about, is are you ready for love again? Would you receive me or would you reject me? Okay, and maybe both of you have gone through the ringer and you both are kind of in that space of where I'm feeling you, but I'm kind of scared. It's like you you come close and then it's like a backing away, a cooling down. Okay, so this could absolutely go the other way where this person is very nervous to put themselves out there to you because of what you've been through and are you ready and are you open? Because the first card out here, um, well, the center is the full, which is taking the plunge, a new beginning, a new adventure, right? But it comes, this starts after a Five of Cups experience within them or within you or maybe even both of you, okay? And here it is, it's like I've been through this, but I really want to offer this commitment. I want to explore, I want to really get to know you better, I want to be in your energy, in your space, but I get really worried and overwhelmed and I start overthinking things because of what's happened in my past. Even though I know it's over, it's done, 
I still get very caught up. And even though I want this adventure, this new beginning, all of this, I really go back and forth, back and forth, doubt and indecision, okay? But the truth is, this person really just sees you as like the whole package okay I want to offer my cup to this empress this empress being you I want to offer my cup to this empress but I hide the depths of my emotion because of my fear because of my trust issues because of what's happened to me in the past okay so let's pull some clarifiers on the fool Nine of Cups. Oh, you got the world again. Look at that. That is so synchronistic. Okay, so they want you. They want to be with you. They want to have this whole journey with you, the full to the world. Like, that is, I want to... And I know this is general, so it's kind of hard to gauge fully this person's emotion because whether you've met them or not yet, but there comes this point with this person where they see that they could have a life with you and it, it's their wish, okay? I want you from now all the way till the end with that fool. Let's look at the moon. All right, these flipped. Yeah, look at that. I hide so much and this person is really going to go back and forth on do I fully express my heart and soul or do I stay here where things are hidden, um, you know, I'm playing it cool, I'm playing it aloof, like this person hides so much of what they are truly thinking and feeling. And I get a lot of insecurity around that, the reason that they do that, okay? And this moon is like the struggle of how much do I open up and share with picture one? Like, how much do I do that? Like, they're really um, hung up on that because they want you in their life. But, man, they it's almost like they have to fight themselves, okay, to open up, to let the guard down, to trust. And, you know... As much as this person likes you, um, for you personally, I don't know if that will become exhausting and tiring for you, you know, where you feel like you have to chip away at this person's exterior because they just really struggle, okay? And this could be something like somebody you already know, and this has been like an ongoing thing where it's like they're back and forth, they come in close, but then it's like they kind of cool off, and it's because... They have just been through some things and just, it's a lot. It is a lot. So let's look at this Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Um... I want a commitment with you. And we already see that up there, right? I want a commitment with you. I want to heal myself. I want to be the right person for you. Okay, that's what this message, this Knight of Cups is offering. Like, I want a commitment. I want to be healed and whole um, to be with you because I see you as the whole package, as everything. Okay, I just kind of feel like you are at the point where... You're just, um, for those of you that know this person, you're just kind of like, either trust me and come close or just leave me alone. Like, I don't want back and forth. You're just, you're not into that. You're like, let's make this work or not. And those of you that have yet to meet this person and they show up in the next 30 days, and now you're going to understand their behavior. All right, and maybe that gives you a little bit of an advantage because you're going to be like, okay, I know you've been hurt and you have this wall up and all these things, but if you don't open up and let me in, this isn't going to go anywhere. Like, I kind of feel like those of you that have yet to meet this person, you have a bit of an advantage, like, um, because you do have all this knowledge about them and 
it's gonna put them at ease because it's like you know you they're gonna feel like you're reading their soul and you know beyond just the messages from this reading you are gonna feel you know things intuitively about them but now that you know the truth you're not gonna go back and forth between well is this really what's happening or should I go off of this weird behavior from them because energy and their behavior aren't lining up you're gonna understand why Okay, so we have explore, spend some more time dating before you make a long-term commitment. And I feel like that's just kind of where some of you guys are at right now that already know this person. And signs, look for patterns that will show you what you need to do right now. Okay, so um, as much as you, those of you that have already met this person, um, and they're going to come towards you much stronger in the next 30 days, it's like you you want to kind of distance yourself all right like you wish you didn't care so much things like that because this person is just like a slippery little fish all right you just never know from day to day are they coming are they going how's it going to be today you know like you you really just don't know so those of you that have already met this person you, like I said I feel like you're just kind of tired and every time you try to pull away then there are signs that kind of pull you back okay and you think to yourself, I just, I need to put some distance here. I need to date other people. And every time you do that, it's like you get pulled back in. All right. Um, I feel that those of you that already know this person, um, kind of giving them an ultimatum is going to be what breaks the ice. And even if that is like, you have to put the ultimatum out there and, you know, they're like, whoa, and they want to disappear for a little bit, let them, let them, they're, they will be back. They need your boundaries, your boldness, you respecting yourself is going to actually be something that makes them trust you more. OK, um, having a really strong backbone in this and being like, look, I know you've been through X, Y, Z, but I'm not playing this game. We're grown adults here. I'm not attached to that. And you either see me for me or be gone with yourself. And then for those of you that are about to meet this person, you know, um, once things start getting closer and then you notice this close and then pulling away, you need to put your foot down immediately and be like, what's up? And don't even worry about like trying to play it cool and all that. No, this person needs to understand um, your boundaries and your power and your energy within yourself it's going to cause them to respect you so much even though you might feel it will do the opposite because you know I can see they've been through some things but you refusing to play that victimhood game is what they need in their life to snap them out of this and that's probably why they're so drawn into you something about your energy your light your strength All right let's look at intimate energies this person feels towards you Okay, so in the mind, we have justice. They want to meet with you. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. They want you to know the truth of where they stand, what they feel. It's just very, very hard for them. Um, in the heart, seven of wands. Yeah, see? Seven of wands, they're guarded. And it's like you feel that you've got to constantly reassure them, and you get tired of that quite quickly. All right, but the seven of wands in their heart, they are a bit guarded. In the body, um, wow, they really desire you, okay? They really desire you, but they, I, I don't know if this person, like, was cheated on, okay? It just feels like some sort of brutal ending that's very, very hard for this person. They want to um, connect with you physically, but it, there's a lot of fear around that. And at the soul, look at that. How beautiful is that? Judgment love at first sight they feel bound to you okay you feel bound to them you both see a lot of signs and synchronicities okay um, whether you have already met them or you are about to meet them this is your story with this person and spirit really wants you to understand because 
it's going to be hard to try to just walk away or not deal with this person because at the soul, look at that, you guys have a contract going on here. And I feel you are really going to help snap this person out of their traumas of the past and get in the now. And they desire you. They want you. They want to bring a commitment to you. But it's like they are so weary and unsure in themselves and your strength and assertiveness and boundary is what's going to like activate something inside of them for them to finally step up and realize, look, I got to snap out of this if I want to be with this Empress picture one. Like I've got to grow the F up. I've got to face my shit. So I understand that initially you're going to be very soft and tender with this person. But there is going to come a point where you're going to really put your foot down and have no fear in that. That's what you need to do. Even if it causes a temporary separation, they will be back because they want to come into union with you. Like that's truly, truly what they want. But they've got to let their guard down and expose their heart space, right? So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, picture number two. So let's tap in to this person's energy of who is coming towards you, who they are and what they want. What do they want? Who is this person's spirit? Show us. Okay. <laughs> this person, um, there is a lot of complexity to this person. Okay. Um, it's like I see two sides, two strong sides to this person, like, you know, Gemini energy. But I'm also feeling a very strong Scorpio energy around this person. And it does not have to mean that they're Gemini or Scorpio. I'm just, this is like their personality I'm feeling. Okay, there's two sides to this person. So this could be where... And this person is, you know, very professional, all of those things. But then outside of the workplace, they're just totally wild, crazy, you know. Um, and there's just very two strong sides to this person. But um, I feel that, like, Scorpio energy, like, there is so much depth, a lot of complexity to this person. Like, um, the angel demon, okay? Like, that that's their two sides. One is an angel, one is a demon. And this is general reading, so what those sides represent will be different for each of you. And this could be somebody that you've already met, okay? Or somebody who is coming in in, like, the next 30 to 60 days. Um... This person also feels like a, a very masculine energy, whether um, they're male or female. Like this is somebody who is very protective and maybe even possessive over their things. Um, and this includes like friends and family. Like they are very, very protective. Um, this is somebody that will just intrigue the crap out of you. Like, very, very intriguing to you. Moth to the flame. All right, let's see. Spirit, who is this person? Show us more. Oh, look at this. Loving yourself. <clears throat> this person knows that there's something special, okay? Like, this... This is part of their energy and it's loving yourself. Like they know that they what they bring to the table. There's a lot of confidence in this person, all right? Um, but it, it's not like, oh, look at me, put me on a pedestal, okay? This person just knows their worth and their value. They absolutely do. And I feel like in a relationship with them, they also want you to know your worth and value, all right? This is um, like high quality person, high energy. Um, yeah, they just know their worth and their value, you know? And that's better, honest to God, that is better than somebody who is incredibly insecure and has no concept of worth and value, right? Because when you're very insecure with no concept of your own value, then you're constantly questioning things and, and pulling back and trying to protect yourself. This person, absolutely not that. They are 
out there. They are in the open. They are wild. They are free. They want to have fun. They know their worth. They know their value. But it is in a very healthy, positive way, this person. And they're very flattering. They're going to... Um, just like you might almost feel like they love bomb, but they're they're not. That's just like who they are. And that's like the one side to them where very loving, the angel, very loving, giving, supporting, uplifting. But man, um, I do feel when they're way out of whack or something just sends them over the edge. You're like, oh my God, who are you? Okay, house 12, spirituality, transcendence, karma, sacrificial service, and healing. Okay, so this talks about this person. They could have a lot of uh, heavy placements in their natal chart in the 12th house. Um, but this, to me, is more of speaking to the wisdom of this person. Like, they're an old soul, okay? They are absolutely an old soul. Um, there's a lot of wisdom um, knowledge that just exists within them and that might also be why they know their worth, their value, okay? Um, also with this um, house 12, this person might be a bit older than you. Okay, we have Aquarius, originality, philanthropy, and progressive imaginings. Yes! So here is, you know, 12th house Piscean energy and then 11th house Aquarian energy. Yes, this person is an old soul, okay? Um, and that's probably, like, why the angel demon um, energy, I'm feeling like that, the Gemini, like the two sides, okay? Because this person is very wise, very thoughtful, very loving, very spiritual, just, like, vibing high. But... There is this aspect to this person, um, like, and they have to be really thrown out of balance here, okay? But when it's just like everything feels out of control, um, this person changes. That all that light, it's like it, it turns into darkness. And this doesn't mean this person is like abusive and all of those things. It just means when they get dark, oh, it's hard to deal with, like, just their the vibes off of them like they don't even have to say anything okay you just feel it so that's not like the only downfall with this person is um, when they get in that that state but again it takes a lot to get them there otherwise this person is very very loving giving fun wise so let's pull some tarot and go deeper into this person and the story around them what they want to bring to you what they want to offer you all right, well, look at that. This jumped out. This is the center. They want to bring you justice. They want to be real with you, fair with you. Maybe even they want to marry you. At the minimum, they want to be in a commitment with you. This isn't somebody who wants to play games. Like I said, I feel, and I could feel this because they are such like a, an old soul. I feel like they're older than you. They're not somebody playing games. Let me just, you know, date five people at once and make them all think they're my number one. Like, no, this person is not like that. Four of Wands. Yeah, they're very stable in themselves. Page of Swords. They watch you. King of Cups. Yeah, that goes so perfectly with that. Not like complexity of that, like the, the complexity within of that Scorpio energy. Ten of Cups. Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. Judgment. And Three of Pentacles. You know, with some of you, this could be your boss. Just say it for some of you. This could be your boss or somebody kind of higher up in, in the company that you work for, okay? Um, because there's this element of watching you, 
through that page of swords up there like they keep an eye on you whether like in the workplace um over your social media um i don't see like this person i feel is around you already somehow some way even if you're not aware of it and they're noticing you and they really like what they see um but there is some fear a little bit of fear of like um, you rejecting this person like they feel you might reject their advancement towards you okay um, out of fear of what people would think or they've been holding back for a while out of fear of what others would think of you two being together okay but if like, I, yeah, there's no question this person, and this, even with like that, like they could live in your apartment building or your neighborhood. Like this is somebody who is noticing you. And if, if it's not like in your, um, when you're out and about your daily activities, things like that, places you frequent, um, this would be like a friend of a friend online that's noticing you. Okay. Like you guys have a mutual friend and they're noticing you. Like, this person's watching you before, and no, I shouldn't say watching, like, don't get, like, creepy vibes. They're very much noticing you and going out of their way to notice you, okay, um, before you guys actually meet. And there is some fear that you would reject them. Like, they, they think you might reject them, but they're going to step forward because this is an opportunity they are not going to let pass them by. So I'm going to pull some cards on this Ten of Swords and this Judgment. All right. Because that's where I'm feeling like that kind of fear of either you would reject them or um, what would people think. And it's not like there's anything bad against you in that, that fear. It's not. It could be, again, like they're older or this is a boss. Or again, that you, like, why would somebody like you ever give me a chance even though I know my worth and my value? They see you in a very high light. Okay, four of cups. And six of cups, yeah. Um... So you got this four of cups going on twice and in this reading I'm feeling like this person believes if they don't make a move they don't put themselves out there within the next 30 days here like they'll they'll miss their chance they'll miss their opportunity with you like they're really feeling that energy like they've got to make their move they've got to put themselves out there to you but there's just this fear of rejection but man, they're really feeling you. Let's look at justice. Oh wow, we got three. Oh my gosh, look at three major arcana on, on that. And those flipped. We got the star, the fool, and the lovers. This person, you know, and for a small handful of you, because I keep getting like sucked back into this Ten of Swords, you may have already had a go round with this person and it just didn't work out or it didn't end the best, okay? And that's what they're kind of afraid about. They're watching you, okay? So that could definitely be a scenario for some of you where you guys didn't have the best ending or things were just complicated, you know, something weird of the past. And, and now it's like, they're free or you're finally free and they really want to put themselves out there they want to make their move okay so whether this is somebody who have already had something with in the past or this is somebody who's just kind of watching you right now either way they really like the star you are my wish you are my desire i want to start um an adventure with you a beginning with you as my lover all right, and I see that here, like the Three of Pentacles. I want to work with you. I want to combine um, the things that we have. So this person is really all about you. They're just, and they're watching you. They're just kind of scared to approach you, but they will, like, they, they are going to. Because it's like 
if I don't put myself out there, I will regret this for the rest of my life. Even if you reject them, at least they know that they tried. This is, see, this person, like I said, very confident in self. Like they know their worth, they know their value, but there's something about you that they see as being more than even them or, or what they have, okay? They see you in a very, very positive light and maybe almost even putting you a bit on a pedestal. flirtation someone is flirting with you now so take notice and flirt back if you like them so they're gonna come in and they're gonna be sweet and flirty and again their personality is already quite charming so you might normally just think oh that's who they are no it means something with you uh, chemistry you have a very strong attraction that bonds um, that bonds you to each other so um, they are very very attracted to you physically and you know we've already picked up on that they're gonna flirt with you maybe they see you as having multiple options you know and again if they're like older than you that might be why they're like you could potentially reject them because again you have options like they see you as options and you know this is kind of good because somebody who's very confident in themselves and they know their worth and their value it's sexy okay but this person, even in that knowing their worth and their value, they see your worth and your value, okay? They don't see themselves as bigger, better than you. They see you as the equal to them, all right? Uh, maybe even a little bit out of their league, all right? Uh, but they're going to flirt. They really like you. They are drawn into you so, so deeply. So let's look at their intimate energies towards you, mind, heart, body, and soul. Oh, wow. Look at in the mind. They think about you all of the time through this King of Swords energy in the heart. Oh, yeah. There you just do something to this person. OK, like their heart is pitter patter over you. You're, they're getting butterflies in the look at nine of Pentacles for body. Yeah, they they think you are so attractive. You are everything and, and not just physically attractive it, the personality your vibe um what you got going on in your life okay they just wow and at the soul you are their wish their desire with this nine of cups yeah um this person really thinks the world of you they watch you they're scared of your rejection but that's not going to stop them it's not. Um, this is. There's so much more to this person, okay, than anybody knows. And you know, if you decide to accept the cup that they're offering you, you're gonna learn that about them. That there is just so many layers. Like Aquarius energy, they're very social. Um, they're very outgoing. Okay, they're popular. They're charming. Um, but with that 12th house energy, there's also this side to them that is very reclusive and quiet and private and wise and spiritual. And it runs so, so deep. Okay. Um, the king of cups came out in the large main tarot cards. And so I know like this person has a very, very big heart. They're mature. They're wise. They want to love you. They don't want to play games with you. Okay. They want something real with you. They have laser focused onto you and they're going to do whatever it takes. Okay. Unless you say, no, absolutely not. I have no interest. And they'll pull back, but they'll still be thinking in their mind, you know, if the opportunity presents itself, I'm putting myself out there again because they just see you as everything, the whole package. All right. Um, here with the physical energies for the earth, the body, the nine of pentacles, they see you as the whole package. OK, they can't stop thinking about you. Oh, you make their heart pitter patter. All right. Like 
and um, just really pay attention to your surroundings, like places that you often frequent because this is where that person is. Um, or again, it's like you guys have a mutual friend online and that's how they started seeing your stuff and now they're like watching you in that capacity trying to figure out how to come in. Maybe we'll even send you a friend request since you have a mutual friend and slowly try to ease their way into getting to know you better, okay? Um, or if this is somebody that you've already kind of had something with and it didn't really work out, they're going to come back in very flirty, okay? Very, very flirty with you. Um, and back to that, like, love bombing. Their angel side is going to be out. They're going to be on their best behavior. But know if that's how this story resonates for you, that what they say, what they bring, what they offer is real. Like, this person in this reading does not want to play games. They want to hook up and be committed. They want you in their life. They want you by their side. They see so much happiness and potential with you, okay? They are already very stable and steady in their own personal life. I feel like their money's on point. Um, their mind is on point. Their body is on point. Their spirituality is on point. Like, they're a very well-rounded person. And to anybody looking from the outside in, they would think this person has it all together and they have everything going for them, okay? But beneath the surface, remember, there's a lot of complexity to this person that they don't share with just anybody. And you are going to see that depth, like you are going to dive in to the ocean in which they are. There is so much to be discovered deeper inside of this person and there is a lot of happiness for you as well. But just because I see their fear of like you not accepting them for whatever reason. Um, I know this person, there will be some hesitation in you, whether it's like they work with you, they're older, they're a mutual friend of such and such or somebody from the past, right? There is a little bit of hesitancy in you, but I just think you would have a great time with this person. They are offering you everything, truly, truly, and they're real. They are real across the board. All right, so those are your messages. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, picture number three. Let's uh, tap right in to this person's energy who is coming towards you and what they want, what they're going to say to you. All right, let me just, oh. Well, this just jumped out before, like just as I was beginning. So we're going to leave that there for now. Um, I will pull another one of these. Um, okay, this person, what I'm feeling about them is they are quite a bit different than you are, okay? And so there's going to be some hesitation in really putting themselves out there too. And it's interesting because all three readings kind of had that. The person coming forward is a little bit hesitant and boom, you, this jumped right out. So for you guys, I just feel this person is very different from you or not your usual type or you're not their usual type. And so they kind of hold back a little bit initially. Mm, this person has absolutely stunningly beautiful eyes. Okay, like when you look at this person's face, you see nothing but eyes because they're just so captivating, so there. Wow, wow, that came through really strong. Um, this person though, like they have some deep, deep seated wounds inside. Okay, they've got some wounds and I don't think um, just, you know, any old person would know about what they've been through, um, what they hold inside, like because what this wound is, it goes way, way back for them. Okay, it goes way, way back for them. So there is some sort of wound and that could also be um, what makes them hesitant or hold back a little bit when it comes to you is because of that, but they feel very warm. Like their energy just feels warm and inviting and oh my gosh, their eyes. However, I don't feel that they are the best housekeeper. Like I don't feel um, 
like everything is in its place, nice and tidy and dusted. Like that's not this person. No, no. Um, I don't feel like they're a hoarder or anything, but um, this is just somebody who's like, you know, stuff here and there, like um, or orderly, everything in its place isn't like a big deal to this person, okay? Um, so they're a little bit messy. That's just something I don't know what Spirit wants you to know. They're a little bit messy. Ooh, and uh, look at one of the wicks and this candle just went out. Okay, you know what that tells me? That's what that deep wound is. Somebody passed in this person's life at a young age. And it it was intense for this person. It was too much. It really deeply impacted them, whoever this was that passed, whether it was a parent, a grandparent, a really close friend, a sibling, a cousin. It's just, that's what that was about. It's, um, that's what this wound is. Somebody passed away in this person's life and it, they've never fully recovered from that. And maybe, you know, um, the love that you guys share, it, the potential's there. It's really up to you whether you want to or not. That could be very healing for this person. Um, they're not a big spender, okay? Even if they have money, they this is not somebody who is a big spender, all right? Um, what else? What else, spirit? When their feelings are hurt, when they feel rejected, they can be very mean, okay? Um, they're not a mean person in general, like they're very warm, but when they're feeling rejected and hurt, they can be mean. So, um, like, if you guys are having a really bad fight and you're calling them out and you're, like, putting them down, they might get really mean right back, okay? Um, even if what you're saying is true, like, hey, you're doing this, da 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 if they take it as, like, they're being attacked or, like, that you're not going to love them anymore, they'll get really mean. When their emotions are injured, they get a little mean, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, this person is very proud of their oral skills, all right? I'm just going to leave it there. I can't believe that came through, but they're very proud of that, just so you know. So if you are into that, they consider themselves a king or queen of a uh, fellatio cunnilingus type energy. All right, we're going to pull a card now. I'm like, no, we're not going down that path. Okay, sweetest taboo. Yeah, there is something so opposite about you guys. And um, it feels like almost taboo to this person, but they're so intrigued. So this could be somebody who is like super religious and maybe you're just, you know, really goth or you consider yourself a Wiccan. You know, it's like that vast of a difference between the two of you. And you are like their forbidden fruit, okay? This could even be like a, a big age gap or something along those lines. But they look at you as the forbidden fruit that they would like to taste. Okay, so we have air, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. This is a very intelligent person. And Mars, move forward and defend self. Yeah, see, when this person is really feeling threatened, pushed into a corner, attacked, that they have this Mars energy inside of them, that, like, mean streak, meanness. And I did pick up on that, so yeah. Um, their temper could be... Just not super fun to deal with. Okay, I don't get like they're a uh, like physically abusive person, um, anything like that. It's just, man, when they're mean, they're mean. They're just not nice. But it only happens when they are feeling, again, very triggered, attacked, rejected, something to do with their emotions. So we'll keep this doubt and a decision up um, over here because... Um, now we know why. It's like the the opposite between the two of you, okay? Um, they are a little weary of that, but man, it's like they just can't look away. They really are all about you. All right, let's pull some tarot and go deeper into this story. Oh, look at that. 
got Nine of Pentacles at the center. Nine of Wands, a lot of determination. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. The Hermit. Tower. Oh my gosh, you are going to be shocked when this person puts themselves out there. The Magician. Ten of Cups. And Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. You know, for some of you, I feel this is somebody who has had a crush on you for a very long time. Okay, that I know that doesn't pertain to all of you. But man, um, some of you, this person has had a crush on you for a very long time. And they're getting to a place of determination like, I am going to make this happen with picture three. I'm going to make it happen. I must... Just because, man, uh, we have right here the sweetest taboo. And at the center, we have the nine of pentacles. So that is how they see you. Like the whole package. You are beautiful. You are sexy. You are handsome. All right. They like everything about you. And I feel you would be absolutely shocked to know how much this person is into you. They hide it very very well okay and with that hermit sitting there um the sweetest taboo some of you this is about like a very large age gap okay a very large age gap and that might be you know why they think you might not um want them or indulge them okay but man they are your wish like they they hope that you would want them back as much as they're feeling you like oh it is a big weight like they've been carrying this for a while all right um those of you where this is somebody that you have yet to meet um right when they see you from like moment love at first sight okay oh my gosh as i'm saying that this just fell out yeah it, it's so overwhelming to this person, you, your energy, oh, they are all about you. Let's look at the tower. My daughter just sent me a message that says, go look at the moon because we just had the Leo full moon. All right, so there could be a significance there. She just texted that. We have the queen of swords and the magician. Okay, um, this person, you have no idea. You have no idea, like, that they're all about you if they're currently around you or when you first meet them. Like, they hide it so, so well that when they put it out there, you are going to be absolutely floored. Absolutely floored, okay? Let's look at this hermit. And you got the magician popping out twice. It's magical. Uh, to me, it's magical for them, and it's magical for you. On the hermit. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I'm confessing with the ace of swords. Oh, with the lovers. Oh, yeah. We don't need to clarify any further. We see what is going on here. Um, big confession. Like, this person is going to be a big confession of love that shocks the absolute shit right out of you. I am telling you, oh my gosh. And the way they see you, just wow. <laughs> I just, oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> and then that, I'm really good at oral. Oh my gosh, this person. They're a lot of fun, okay? They are a lot of fun. Again, very intelligent. With that air energy, um, very witty, clever, good sense of humor. Um, I do feel also with that Nine of Pentacles, this person has has it together. Um, especially those of you where this is somebody um, older than you, like 9, 10 years older than you. It could even be like 20 years older than you, all right, with the sweetest taboo there. I feel like there's a very, for those of you where this is about age, there's a very significant age gap here. And um, if it's not age that makes you guys opposite, it's like your lifestyle choices, um, who you guys are, and they do not care. They do not care. They just see you and they're like, can I make you mine? Like, they are so intrigued by you. 
And when they confess, you are just going to be so blown away. I love it. Okay, signs. Oh, this is spirit saying really start paying attention to who how people are interacting with you and you're gonna know oh this is a soulmate for you oh my gosh they're scared ah look at look at i had to do it i had to do it i had to pull three for you guys mm mm mm, -mm. That's all I got to say about this is mm -mm -mm. Um, somebody is confessing like all this interest in you who is much older or very opposite of you. Spirit is like, uh, give it a shot. Give it a shot. You will not be sorry. This is such a fun person. Okay. Um, just remember when if they're getting mean it's because something is off emotionally inside of them they're feeling a certain way but otherwise just wow and yeah looking at you it is love at first sight for them so let's look at their intimate energies for you mind heart body soul Okay, look at this. In the, the mind, we've got the high priestess. They feel like you guys have a destiny. Like, they are, I feel like from the get-go, they, they have a soul recognition in you. Um, it might not be the same for you, but in them, yeah, they feel like you guys have a destiny. In the heart, look at that. You are the empress, whether you are male or female, okay? Um, you are the whole package in their eyes. You are glorious. You are beautiful. You are sexy. You are handsome. Just your energy, your pheromones, it makes them weak in the knees. Body, oh, they do not like being restricted from you. They want to touch you, okay, badly. And soul, oh, they want to date you. They feel like you guys are soulmates. This person absolutely feels that. Even though there's something very different about the two of you, um, they feel that doesn't matter. You're their soulmate, and that's that. Okay? Like, that's that. And it's like, I will pursue, I will do whatever it takes. Like, once they put it out there and confess it to you, it, they'll do whatever, whatever to get you to be theirs like no shame like uh this person will simp for you okay like 100 percent. they they're already simping for you if they're just kind of um watching you from afar right now okay this is like going to be your biggest fan of your whole life right here this person will love you and worship you and think you are the sun moon and stars wow and also Remember, with these two magicians, it's going to feel magical to you as well. Just the uh, connection, the time you guys spend together, all of it, because you are soulmates. You absolutely are with that card popping out. Um, let's. I want to look at you a little bit like... What are you going to think like when this person, I know you're going to be shocked, but how is that going to, oh, wow, wow, wow. Look at Empress. Empress is trying to jump out again. So let's see how is picture three going to feel. Oh, oh, sleeping love. Okay. So what this tells me is this person is not normally somebody that you would look at or think about or whatever. But the way they present themselves to you and everything they say to you, it just like activates your heart chakra. Okay? It activates your heart chakra with that. And it's very healing what they say to you. Let's pull some more cards. Oh, 
we got the six of cups oh with the two of cups and the queen of cups yeah uh they're gonna win you over <laughs> they are gonna win you over you're not gonna be able to say no they're just gonna charm the pants right off you and it, it's more than that it's the, the emotion the way they look at you the way they interact with you their energy towards you it's going to make you feel like a queen or king all right so let's look at your mind heart body and soul when it comes to them after they you know do this and say what they've got to say and try to make you theirs Ooh, this is going to be a big change for you see whoever this person is this is not somebody you would normally date. This is not your type. You are not their type. But my God, the attraction is just out of this world. Oh, you know what? And I'm going to show you. I have a great meme on my phone for that. Hold on. Let's uh, mind, heart, body, soul. Mm. Uh, they watch you. They watch you. They're noticing you for sure. Ooh, look at you in the mind. Yeah, uh, you're really going to enjoy them intimately. And they're going to knock your socks off in the heart. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see? See how he is just like worshiping her. That This is in your heart. This is how you feel with this person and the way that they take care of you and adore you. Oh, wow. Beautiful body. Yep, they please you in every single way. And so they, uh, they set you ablaze. They take you to new realms that you never knew existed. And I have got to show you this meme because it is the perfect meme for you guys right here there we go when y'all got nothing in common but you vibe see the goose and the cat that is you too I'm telling you so opposite but once uh, Cupid's arrows go there is no separating you two and you both are very happy and content with each other I love it this is such a beautiful reading um, enjoy have fun like you are going to show this person things they've never known and seen and vice versa just because you guys are so opposite into like different stuff all of that all right so those are your messages i am sending you lots of love and light take care